Hi everyone, this is a gear review of my version of the Camping Chuck box using the rigid toolboxes from Home Depot. And I'll leave a link in the description below. I have all four sizes here, the large with the wheels, the medium, the small, and also the basket. I don't always bring the basket with me when I go camping, but it is convenient for the longer camping trips. Just throw items in there as you need. And it does connect to the other containers as well. Now it's not made to roll around with all four items, but you certainly can. And the convenience of it is totally worth it. Okay, let's talk about the outside first. I'm gonna remove the basket since you get the idea with that. Set that to the side. So this is a very durable material. All the boxes have these heavy duty metal latches. And in those latches, they also have holes in them that you can put locks. Additionally, in the bottom box, there is a metal bar that you can put through all three items, all th that you can put through all three boxes so that you can lock them all together for additional security. Okay, these are the handles that attach each box to each other. They do have rubber on them, so you can use them as carrying handles as well. And if you wanna get into the box that's in the middle, all you have to do is open those latches and then you can open that up just fine. So you don't have to take those boxes off to get into the middle box. So now we'll go through the containers themselves. I'm not gonna go through each item, that would be a separate video. Okay, before I get into the contents of the box and the inside, I wanna show the outside. It has this metal bar that connects to the lid to keep it from opening up all the way. And I'll show what that looks like. So I like to take the metal bar off so that I can have the lid open completely. Inside I have some of my camping seasonings, fire starters, soap, medication, headlamps, tools, and these are containers that you can remove. These, the lid contains the inserts that keep these covered so that none of the contents fall out. So you can remove those if you want more room and these dividers move, remove as well. On each of the lids, it has this seal around it to keep water out and dust out. And I find that to be very useful with it being outdoors. Go ahead and lock this up. Set it aside and we'll look at the middle. Okay, let's take a look at the medium sized box. The handle for this is on the top. And again, I have that metal bar detached from the lid so that I can open it up all the way. This one has a handy tray inside to keep things a little bit more organized. I carry my lights in there, some laundry items, soap, a sewing kit. And then inside the box, I just carry miscellaneous items that I use for starting fires, emergency blanket, extra fuel for my Coleman stove, a lantern, plenty of wipes, these come in handy outdoors, my axe, and Clorox disinfecting wipes, which come in handy for campground and picnic tables, and then also a dustpan. And this is my water filter. This medium-sized box holds up to 50 pounds, so it is quite heavy duty. And we'll take a look at the bottom box. The largest box, that's the one that has the wheels attached and the handle. This is as far down as the handle goes, but I don't find that it really gets in the way. This is the bar where the bar stores to lock all the boxes together, just in the top there. 
and all these handles are rubber so that it makes for a little bit more comfort when you carry them the top the large box lid removes completely so we'll set that to the side this box contains all my cooking items so this is my coleman stove uh, just a grill pan, a little bit bigger, a water container. These are my utensils, really handy carrying case for those. Paper towels, extra fuel for my stove. Pots. These are my other cooking pots. And then just some miscellaneous items. This is a wind guard for my stove, a cleaning brush, a tablecloth, and I use this to dry dishes after I wash them. This is just a laundry bag. And then this back here, I use this container to store items like Ziploc bags, garbage sacks, and then these are just small size garbage sacks. And I'm gonna take these out so I can show you that this removes. So because this is a toolbox, this is a separate divider that you can remove uh, if you want more space, but I keep it in there just for more organization. And I store small items in there. And this is for my water jug. So for storage, I store the big box in my car separately. And then medium sized box and the small box, I store those together. If you like this gear review video, comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.